Dolly Lovers and welcome back to my channel. I have been going through the comments recently and I promised a few of you guys an update. I was planning to do an update anyway but I most definitely wanted to get this little um, chat update up so you guys know what is going on. Because I know everybody's just like, where the heck is she? When is she going to upload a new video? What is she doing? She got dolls for sale? Like, what is going on? So, I'm here to do an update for you guys and just check in and let you guys know what's going on. So, today I have Truett here with me. Um, you guys probably haven't seen her in a little while, but I have been loving and snuggling on her behind the scenes. She has this cute little onesie on today, and it just says happy and rainbow print because me and two of the other babies have done a little pastel rainbow photo shoot. So, yes, that is part of my update you guys know that I was transitioning my blog site. I wanted it to look really nice and professional. So I decided to migrate from the fleet free blogger platform to WordPress with my own domain name and everything. And you guys know all about the domain name search because I put up a little a little vote and asking everyone's opinion and the big reveal for what domain name I picked all that will come soon enough when the website is all finished so yes this weekend we did the photo shoot um, with a pastel rainbow theme because that was the color scheme I wanted to go for the website and it kind of matches my nursery that I plan on putting together so I wanted everything to be really cute and matchy matchy and I'm really happy with how the pictures came out so that is one thing that has been really keeping me busy because this is a one woman show you guys. I don't have any special videographer or photographers or anything. It's just all me and most of the time the weekends are my only time that I can do anything uh, pertaining to my hobby or for myself. That includes all my other hobbies that I like to partake in. So um... It's going to take a little while for everything to get together, but I'm so, so happy that I finally got started on it and it's coming together really nicely. Um, the second big update is that I am down by one reborn child. <laughs> so uh, I highly suggest if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me because I update there more frequently. And let everyone know what I'm up to, what the baby's up to, when we went shopping, what we got, what new trends that we've been seeing, and everything like that. So I frequently update my Instagram, and I have been utilizing that Instagram story saying uh, now that I have gotten hip to that. <laughs> so I've been using that. So please follow me there for any uh, frequent updates and more recent news because some of my news makes it to YouTube a little slower than Instagram but yes I did post to paying a Mallory for sale and she pretty much was adopted within a few hours of me posting it so it was a bittersweet situation I will say this wasn't like with Maisie this wasn't like with um uh Lord, I forgot the baby's name because her name is something different now. <laughs> but the Maisie Sculpt, um, this isn't that situation because I was never fully happy with that sculpt um, to begin with. So it was easy for me to put her up for adoption. But with Topanga, it was kind of a bittersweet moment. So ever since I got Tuesday, you guys know the deal. I sell babies if I don't feel like I'm bonded with them and usually it happens a few months within getting a new one. I know it's weird, it's crazy, but I at least keep all my dolls for a year before I decide to sell them. So, I mean, that's a whole nother video in itself, but you collectors, y'all been in the game long enough, y'all know how it goes sometimes, but 
in this case I really really love Topanga she was perfect just the way she was however I was really 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 wanting to expand my doll collection for multiples and even though I have the room I just wanted her to be somewhere else with another reborn mommy and to make room for my multiples so that was the original goal was for me to put Topanga up for adoption and then I get started on my reborn multiples however the monkey wrench of the situation was that uh we're three months into the new year and y'all who have vehicles know the deal. You have to get all your uh, licensing and registration and all that up to date. And right now I was facing the issue with um, getting my inspection sticker up to date or brake tags, whatever you guys call them. Uh, different parts of the state call them different things. But inspection stickers, you know that little white sticker that's on the windshield at the far left that yeah I have to get that updated soon however when you when you go to get that update of course they do all these inspections for your vehicle and all kinds of stuff well Raven that's what I call my truck <laughs> Raven um needed some work done and she got a few lights on her dashboard that's probably going to keep me from getting that inspection sticker so I had to go to the shop and see what needed to be fixed on it well that's like a seven eight hundred dollar situation yeah it's basically gonna cost me seven or eight hundred dollars to get a twenty dollar inspection sticker <laughs> like it's not it's not um stopping the car from running safely or anything but it just is what it is you know you want your car to be safe on the road. You don't want the cops behind you for any kind of reason. So I have to get it fixed. Basically the AC or whatever is messed up in the vehicle. And I have an oil plan leak or something like that. I don't know. But it is what it is. So the funds that I was putting aside for my reborn multiples after I sold Topanga have now went to fixing my vehicle. And even though it wasn't my ideal plan, I know God has a plan for me and things always end up working out. Whenever I have the extra funds to add on to my collection, that's what I'll do. But for right now, I need to, you know, prioritize. And of course, I need a vehicle to get back and forth to work to make more money to buy more dolls. <laughs> so, so that's basically the situation. Um... I was a little sad about it because I really, really like Topanga and sometimes when you're selling a doll, when you know you're expecting a new doll, it kind of offsets the negative feelings about it, the sad feelings, but the sadness went on a little too long because I didn't have that to offset it, so it's okay. I think I'm alright about it now, knowing that Topanga went to a very nice reborn doll collector so if you guys aren't subscribed to miss billy's nursery please 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 check it out her collection is growing look like every other month her collection is growing and each one of her dolls is so beautiful i know she recently showed her nursery that she has been working so hard to paint and decorate and it looks absolutely beautiful um, if you guys remember, she also adopted Taya a few months ago when I was ready to part with her. So I'm so happy my my two girls, they're not my girls anymore, but I'm so happy those two girls who came from my nursery are together again at Billy's Nursery. So if you enjoyed seeing their videos, please subscribe to her channel and check them out if you want to keep up to date with them. She did tell me that she had kept the names of those two dolls, so their names are still Taya and Topanga, which I think is so cute because uh, those are some of my favorite names. Um... So yeah, so that is my update so far. Um, no new developments in the nursery as far as decorating goes because I'm trying to get all this, um, you know, settled and squared away with my 
house and you know my responsibilities and bills i know bills are due like every 30 days but honey it feels like every two weeks so <laughs> i gotta get you know get everything situated so i can have fun later and speaking of fun i might have the opportunity to go on a cruise next year and that is so awesome because y'all know i've never been anywhere <laughs> like i don't go anywhere i've never really been anywhere so the opportunity to go on a cruise is awesome and it would be to Jamaica. So that's exciting and that's fun. Um, I'm excited about that. And of course, this summer is our annual trip to MechaCon convention, which I'm always excited about. We got our tickets January when they went on sale and we just booked our rooms. For the weekend, I actually am going to be using about five, five of my vacation days from work. So I am going to love this. I am so ready for this break. It's not till the end of July, but by then I am going to be <laughs> strung out. <laughs> I'm going to be ready for a break, ready for a vacation because what's been keeping me away these last few months is like serious deadlines at work so i've been coming home late and being really tired and slacking because it's just been weighing me out at work and i have to you know prioritize and do what i have to do now so i can have fun later and the same goes for my hubby he has been working so so hard so babe if you're watching this by any chance yes this is your t-shirt because i haven't finished the laundry and i love you and i appreciate you so much for all your hard work and yeah so that's pretty much my update y'all i wanted to definitely get this video up this weekend i've actually kind of been refraining from doing videos because i really want to redo my intro but since the website's now 100% complete, I will tackle that once it's done so I can debut the new logo and just kind of launch everything at one time. Um, oh, and one other update that I just remembered was that <sighs> y'all are going to be so sick of me like flip-flopping back and forth. <laughs> But I'm trying to get it together, you guys. I'm trying to get it together. I'm not even going to apologize because this is just my life. Like, it's busy and I'm a one-woman show. So, I have so many interests and I'm trying to spread myself out against all of them because I don't want to give anything up. But, I did end up giving up the Dolly Love TV channel. I've taken down all the videos and I just need to let it go because I can't keep it up. I was honestly holding on to that page because I had over 13,000 subscribers there. But honestly, it wasn't fair to them because I wasn't uploading. The people who were there originally for my makeup tutorials, they were just slowly dying off. They were slowly leaving. And then YouTube has been making so many changes. It's like anytime I uploaded anything, nobody was getting notified of any new uploads anyway. So whatever I would have posted there, I could just post on this channel and it'll be fine. So that's that. So you don't have to worry about that. If you were wondering like where that channel went or whatever, it's kind of disbanded right now. Um, and, I pro and I won't be doing anything on that channel or trying to revive it or anything if I decide to do makeup tutorials again which I really hope I do um I've already like kind of gotten the works of putting a new channel page together for that but as of right now I don't have any YouTube video plans for makeup tutorials just yet However, my blog has been doing great. Like, I finished it maybe a month or so ago. Um, I've just been kind of working on everything bit by bit because I do have three websites that I want up and running. One is my beauty blog, my beauty and lifestyle blog. So if you ever wanted to know anything about my life or whatever, I'm posting on there. Nobody reads it, so it's totally fine. It's really just like an online diary for me, and I like things to look pretty because it just makes me feel good, and it was fun to work on. It's one of my 
passion projects. It's where I post all my makeup looks and my product reviews of things I've tried, uh, hauls, and I will plan on doing home decor stuff when I start getting into that. All that will be posted on my beauty and lifestyle blog. And right now I'm working on my doll website for Dolly Love X3, which is where all of the information I've been sharing with you guys over the last few years is going to be pertaining to artist reviews and how to make reborn bottles and all of that good stuff. I'm just transferring it over to a bigger and better website. And the third site that you guys don't know about because I haven't really fooled with it yet is my artist portfolio because I am a graphic designer and at one point I was taking fine art commissions for painting and stuff. But once I started moving, I had to uh, kind of slow that down. But I do want to get that up and running because that's where some of my moolah was coming from. So I need to get that together and get it situated so I can get back to doing a lot of the things that I love to do. So it sounds like a lot and it is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot for me. I have gotten overwhelmed quite a few times, but I just got to do what I got to do. I have to do it and take baby steps and do one thing at a time. And if that means the laundry doesn't get folded for a week, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> because it's something I really love and something I enjoy and I want to do that for myself. So... That is my big update, you guys. I hope that has answered a few of you guys' questions. If you have any more questions, please feel free to comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and click that little notification bell so you know when I do upload. I try to upload at least once a week. My ideal goal is three times a week, but for right now, once or twice a week is what I can handle. But uh, hopefully as we go along and get settled, things will just smooth on out. But yes, make sure you guys are subscribed and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!